All right, how are we today? Great. Beautiful, beautiful. So just a tiny bit of housekeeping real fast. Um, today, um, we have our launch mastermind. It is from 12.30 to 2. <clears throat> um, 12.30 to 2 today. And uh, from about 12.30 to 1.30, we're going to have, um, Susan's going to come on and show us some stuff on DocuSign. Um, and to, because we uh, kind of got a chance to speak a little bit yesterday about um, the buyer process, we're going to speak a little bit today about the seller process. Um, everything from finding the documents to um, reviewing the documents to kind of going through the seller checklist a little bit. What should we be doing? In what order should we be doing it, et cetera? Okay. Um, that way, you guys will feel a good bit more prepared, ideally. Uh, and, and therefore a lot more confident when you're when you're speaking to prospects and you won't have these kind of like last minute like emergency I need help writing an offer at 10 o'clock even though we're here to help with that um, this is designed to uh, minim minimize those uh, stressful moments okay cool so today is going to be uh, seller focused I have not gotten a uh, uh, a postponement or a cancellation. There was a um, last minute mas uh, capper mastermind that popped up um, for the essentially the same time. But the, also the plan is to have uh, Carrie Veal um, on the call today from about 1230 to 1. Carrie Veal is a uh, uh, former rookie of the year. Carrie Veal is the former rookie of the year. She, uh, two years ago, she is now the number one agent in our uh, individual agent in our market center. Um, so she's going to come on and just share some experiences about her journey and um, how she built her business and kind of how she operates right now and what her you know vision is for her future business. Um, so that'll be today, twelve thirty and one, <clears throat> and then. Um, I am finalizing the details now. Uh, next Friday, um, I will be out. And so I'm working on uh, what the schedule might look like. I'm not positive about a morning uh, huddle. Um, I am in discussions right now with an ALC member to um, do a session that day for you guys. And I will have news and uh, a plan for you very soon, by, by the end of today, almost certainly. Okay. So uh, just stay that. And don't forget that Sunday is our day to record our numbers, our actuals for the week of the, what is it, the 18th through the 24th, I believe. 18th through the 24th. So uh, on Sunday night or first thing Monday morning, please uh, record your actuals for that time period. If you're not caught up with actuals and um, goals from the previous weeks, please do so ASAP. Um, I just wanted to let you know that we are on track, by the way, just having reported our two weeks, first two weeks of May, <clears throat> we have almost generated more, spent more time lead generating than we did in the entire month of April, which was more than double what we did in May, or, or I'm sorry, March. So you guys are putting down the gas and I appreciate that and your, your business and your families and all the families that you're helping will appreciate that. So great work. We are probably going to double our best month for our spent lead generating. And if you've been paying attention in Bold Pivot or to Gary or to anyone for that matter, um, since you got into the business, lead generation is the name of the game. So fantastic work on that. Um, we will also probably uh, a good bit, we will beat our number of people that we've contacted, um, almost double that from our record last year, we've already eclipsed April in two weeks. So fantastic work. And more than likely, we probably need to grab an extra listing or two, but we will probably go on more listing appointments and take more listings than we ever have as a group. Okay, so I'm incredibly grateful for your um, commitment to your business, okay? Um, we are here to help you and nothing makes me happier than seeing these numbers pop up on the screen and know that you guys have future paychecks come in and there's families that are gonna build wealth, yours included, okay? So, great job. Okay, who wants to share some good news? Well, it's good news and bad news. Um, 
I got my, I got a listing that went on the market Monday. I got it under contract yesterday, but it's my daughter's mm. <laughs> and she's moving to Jacksonville and taking two of my grandchildren with her. So, uh. but it's okay. Her best friend lives down there. Her best friend growing up lives down there and um, they're looking in this, going to be looking this weekend in the same neighborhood. So that's, that. It makes, I'm excited for that opportunity for them. So did you set him up with a real estate agent in Jacksonville? A uh, Keller Williams agent and Keller Beautiful. Mortgage. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Um, yeah. Um, oh, Jacksonville. I'm sorry. I was thinking about Gainesville. All right. Well, good news and bad news. Now, now everyone has a Zoom account, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. For some of the new people on the call, we we've been we've been um, I, I would if I was a betting man, I would bet that both Ebony and Andrew have Zoom accounts of their own, and that they have uh, played around with the product and know how to share screens and you know um, feel comfortable giving presentations and explaining how to use the software to people. But if not, please do. Okay, Zoom is Zoom is like having a lockbox key right now. I mean, like it is critical. Okay. Okay, who else got some good news? Andrew, fantastic job with the video yesterday. Um, Thanks. It, it, it was a, um, I, I, there, was, there was a number of components of that video I really liked. There was this like, there was a, there was a care, there was candor, and there was personality, right? You, you, you had a good way of saying things um, in a, in a um, in a serious way, right? Yet it wasn't like it wasn't aggressive. And then I liked the part at the end that was just like turned you into a human. You know what I mean? Thanks. That means a lot. Yeah. So good work on that. I like, I, the, I like not, the part about turning you not, into a human. Not to say that you weren't a human in the first forty-five seconds. I'm a lizard. But like, yeah. <laughs> But like it, it showed that you weren't just like some stiff that like did like four takes on it. You know what I mean? It's like what we talk. <laughs> I don't know if I'm burying myself or not here, but um, we talked about. I think it was Cody was talking about videos and bold pivot the other day, and he says you can't like go into a list a listing appointment and like be there for a couple of minutes and then like stumble upon some word or like say the wrong word and be like, I'll be right back. And then like leave their house, come back in and say, I'm going to try this again. Like it doesn't work that way. Right. So oh, if you, me, I had to like do that video like seven or eight times before I finally got it right. You, you, it, you will improve. I remember, um, I, <laughs> I remember, uh, like I, you know, I take every Friday and Saturday or Friday night to Saturday night off. And there's a number of uh, Jewish holidays throughout the year that I take off and I'm changing my voice message a lot. Right. And I remember at the, at the end, at the very beginning of my career, I would like have this like little note card that said, okay, I'll be away from my phone from boom, boom, boom. And I would like take, I would read it like so many times, try to get it perfect. And my wife would just, she's an actor and she would be on the side just laughing at me. Right. Um, and eventually I just said, you know what, I'm just going to say what I need to say. Right. And if I stumble a tiny bit, so what? They'll know I'm human. They'll, they'll know I'm not some stiff. So good work. Um, share that. Share that. Do you get any any curiosity? Any any leads? Yeah, my videos. I always get responses on people like the videos. I don't know. They're just people just want to watch me say. I guess because most people, well, I don't know. Um, most people just post pictures on social media. So when you do a video and it's like your face and you're talking, they want to hear it. Yeah. So if, um, if your audience appreciates video, what, I mean, most audiences do, but if yours does, you know, more so, um, or you seem to have some traction there, then maybe come up with a, a, a video plan, right? I do this type of video on Monday. I do this type of video on Thursday, right? Don't kill them with it multiple times a day. Um, but maybe something is, you know, uh, community related or something is, uh, statistic, you know, real estate statistic related, or, hey, maybe you came across a really cool 
house online or maybe you came across something funny like have you guys ever seen that um i've seen it in a few variations it's like you know 20 top 20 construction fails or whatever right it's like they have like a staircase that built was built up you know into the roof of the 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 building or like the driveway was like this big or this steep and like nobody could drive down it or the toilet was like placed in the wrong spot. I saw one the other day that had a, um, a shower drain that was up on a little ledge, like an inch ledge in the corner. Like, come on, that like, you know, make real estate fun, right? It's not always about slinging in houses, like make it fun. Make sense? Okay, who else has got something they wanna share? Kim, we don't get to see you today? I'm blow drying my hair, trying to get ready for a doctor's appointment. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Jan has figured out Zoom. We got one Jan, not two. Exciting. Okay. Okay, who was on bold yesterday? Who was on bold yesterday? I want to share some some phrases that I heard in bold yesterday. Bold yesterday was so good, man. They just keep getting better and better and better. Kathy, who's your guest? <laughs> All right, we'll come back to that. Um, before I get to bold, did anyone watch Diana yesterday? Diana and Tony on the on the Andy and Leslie interviewing them? Ooh. I did. Um, Donna, I, if you say what I'm about to say, I, I'd just be like shocked. But what was your favorite part of that? Um, honestly, Bill, I can't remember anything specific. It was just, um, just their enthusiasm. Um, just moved me yeah they were just interesting to watch i think it's just so interesting that um that diana studies i mean if there's somebody that is learning based oh my goodness she is yeah. the she quantum is physics mm -hmm. quantum physics to right. better understand how to interact with her clients right yeah that was fascinating I mean, I love that story about the eggshell. Did y'all catch that? Mm. So if you've got an egg, like uh, she was in some kind of Caribbean island or something, and there was an eggshell or an egg, I guess, and they had um, they had some kind of padding around the egg, and the the idea was they were trying to protect the um, egg so that it could hatch on its own prior to something breaking it from the outside, right? And so breaking in, are you gonna, is the eggshell gonna break from the inside or is it gonna break from the outside? So if it breaks from the outside, that's basically a death sentence, right? But if it breaks from the inside, that's like the start of the life. You guys see that? So if the if the if the if the baby breaks from the inside breaks the eggshell from the inside now all of a sudden you have a new life. If a predator comes in and breaks the eggshell from the outside, it's dead. So think about that and how your real estate business can can be intertwined, right? This is our opportunity to break from the inside. I just thought that was a like only Diana would would talk about an eggshell and figure out how to bring that back to real estate. I just thought that was awesome, awesome. Who's your guest, Kathy? My granddaughter, they've been here this week with my two other daughters and one other grandson. So we were supposed to be at the beach this week, but got bumped out of, out of it. But it's a good thing because the weather's been horrible there. So they just came here and um, they, they are staying with us this weekend while they're the grandchildren are staying with us while the grand while the parents go to Jacksonville to find a house. Mm. 
Cool. Okay. Very cool. Um, all right. I also love that idea of uh, putting manure on plants. What, what did you take from that, Kathy? Well, it was so funny um, when she said, well, I just put manure on it and watered it. And, oh, I've got it. I've, I think I actually wrote that down because it was, it was so good. Well, let me go back to where, where she said it. Um, like, to me, like it's like, go ahead. You got to put crap on your, you, you're, you're going to have crap put on you yep. in order and, for you to and, grow. And that'll make you grow. Yes. <laughs> right. Yep. I just thought that was cool. Like we're, we're not going to go from where we are to where we want to be perfectly right. without stress and without, you know, uh, Stuff being crappy days and these kind of things. It's just what, what you make them, how you make the most of it. Right. You're going to grow through some of the, some of the failures. Okay. And some of the, some of the lousy stuff that happens to you. Um, I also love that line about you go into, you don't go into opportunities, you grow into opportunities. There's some really good one-liners that, man, it was good yesterday. Um, you know, are you fight, are you spending more time fighting for who you have been or for who you want to be? Right? Are you spending more time fighting for who you have been or who you want to be? All right, I want to talk a little bit about um, everyone hopefully is, is spending some more time um, on the phone and lead generating and dealing with some objections. Does anyone want to share um, some of the things that, are, is there anything in particular you're struggling with that you want to kind of spend a, min a minute on and maybe get some ideas on how to overcome those objections or um, anything that you have, have have come across more often that you're struggling with. Let's talk through that. Well, yes, pretty much the same thing. The price drop conversation on, <laughs> on my listing. Um, you know, I can just tell she, she, she does not want to talk about a price drop. And, you know, when I was there with her in person, you know, she seemed very cool, you know, to talk about it. But, you know, I, did yesterday I did a uh, another CMA and showed her the you know the other listings how well these listings are more updated and they have more bedrooms and they're priced a lot less than yours you know it's it's been a week and we haven't had any offers and have um, you had any showings yes I have had showings I have had share what kind of feedback are you getting share the feedback with us I I did I shared all I shared all the feedback I asked every agent that showed it if they could please give me their feedback like most of them didn't but a few of them did and they pretty much all said the same thing like the kitchen needs updating and um you know well, what, it, what they're okay. saying when they say kitchen needs updating yeah that's not actually that's not actually what they mean what they mean is the kitchen needs updating for the price. Yeah. Right. If the price was $50,000 less, they just buy the home. Yeah. Right. I'm not saying $50,000 is what you need to do, but whenever they say, Oh, the rooms are too small or the driveway is too steep or the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what they're telling you is that it's that for the price. Yeah. Right. Price will get rid of objections if there's a big enough drop. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because you know, I, I, I had a guy who um, the, this is way back in the um, when Obama was doing the uh, eight thousand dollar tax credit stuff, and there's a lot of foreclosures and short sales and all that. And this home was listed for two eighty, and it had this probably the steepest driveway in all of Windward. Okay, literally, the steepest driveway in all of Windward, and. I said, and, and he has a very soft-spoken wife and uh, very, very shy and very, like, just moved in slow motion, basically. And um, I said, uh, he says, do you think the driveway's too steep? And I said, yeah. And I said, why don't you, why don't you drive down the driveway? And, and I'll watch you. So he drives down the driveway. He's a daredevil. He just did it real fast. I said, all right, your wife's turn literally took her 45 minutes to get down the driveway okay literally and i said can we move on 
we're not buying this house, right? Let's get back in the car. So he skips the house, house goes into foreclosure, comes back a few months later, and um, the price is 229 now. So he calls me up, he says, Bill, write it up. I said, what home? He says, oh, the one with the steep driveway. I'm like, the one that you, it took your wife 45 minutes to drive down? He said, yeah. I said, you don't want that house. He says, write it up, right? They got 66 offers on the property. We did not win. The home sold for 266. Price will fix problems. You got it? Steep driveway at 280? Yeah, it was too steep. No one bought it at 280. At 229, 66 people wanted it. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when they tell you something's wrong, what they really mean is something's wrong for the price. Yeah, I've got everything written down that I'm going to say to her. <laughs> she, I tried to talk to her about it yesterday. Like I sent her the cops and she just ignored. I could just tell. I was like, man, she does not want to acknowledge the fact that her price is too high and she knows it. She just doesn't want to admit it, you know? So, so, um, so my advice to you would be to, to lay off a tiny bit on, I mean, the home's only been on the market a week. You've gotten some showings. Yeah. So now, so now what I would do is just continue, just say, you know, our, our feedback is continuing to say the same thing. And I, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to continue to work hard to bring people into this home and continue to get more feedback and increase the likelihood we get um, a sale. However, what I'm going to do is send you all the properties that um, come up that might impact our ability to sell. And okay. I would just send them to her one by one. So one if you, if every one day. by one, if necessary, right? Yeah. If three, if three homes come on the market that you believe impact her ability to sell at that price with the home looking like it does, send it to her. Said, hey, this is a new piece of competition for you. Let me know if you have any questions or would like to see it in person. And, you know, please let me know if you have any comments or thoughts. And three hours later, if a new home comes on the market that would impact your ability to sell that home at that price, send it to her. Say, hey, this is a new piece of competition. As your agent, it's my job to help you be successful. Do you have any questions or thoughts or would you like to see this person, this home in, in person? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's your job. Your job is to share the facts. And, and um, like, she's probably just thinking, hey, this guy's trying to get a quick little sale, been on the market a week, lay off, just give her the facts. Cool. Sounds good. Okay. One by one, not like six at a time. Okay. We're going to, we're going to make it dramatic. Ebony, you having fun yet? I think that's a yes. You're on mute though. <laughs> okay. Um, who's got some ideas for the weekend? Who's going to generate some, some new clients this weekend? Talk to me. Well, um, I also made those, um, those digital business cards um, from the command from the Kelly Williams command. Yeah. So I feel it's a lot better to have those because you can send it to them as, you know, more than just saying, Hey, you know, use me as your realtor, you know, once the conversation gets going, but you actually have something you can just send a quick picture of and they can save it or send it to somebody or say, Hey, you know, if your parents are still thinking about selling that house, um, send them this card real fast. You can just like, sh you can just like shoot it to their phone and they'll see it and be like, Oh, okay. This guy's like for real. Yep. It's yeah. much more effective than handing them a physical business card. I always encourage my clients and my vendors to do a three-way email, right? To say, Hey, Andrew, meet Ebony. Andrew is the local real estate agent. He's awesome. He's patient. He's friendly, knows the market. Great. Hey, Ebony, meet Andrew. He's a first time home buyer. Um, uh, he's got some questions about the buying process. I'm sure you guys will love each other. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions, right? That way the real estate agent can, can show their assertiveness as well. Okay. <clears throat> um, Heather, 
that was awesome. Your, your message this morning, um, for 40 bucks or $37, you get to send out 500 bags of seeds or something. Is that right? Um, it'll be 200. Okay. There were 500 labels. So that gives me 300 extra labels for the next round of something, which will make it cheaper. But there were 4,000 seeds in a bulk packet and 200 self sealable seed envelopes. So I'll be able to create my label and stick it on that envelope so I can put the planting instructions, but also my information. And um, it's 18.5 cents per packet. Right. But that includes the extra 300 labels. So I'll be able to use those 300 labels for something else that basically is zero. That's awesome. Mind. That's awesome. I love that, you I saw that on, too. You saw that on Amazon? Yeah, I did a search on Amazon for the individual things. Like, mm. um, so I just put together those three items. Um, and the labels are slightly longer than the seed packet but I'm okay with that because that means I can fold it over and have mm. a tiny message on the back. That's awesome. Good, good creativity there. Um, guys, I keep hearing in these, in these, um, in these times that no business owners are checking in on their people. It's not just real estate. Like you get it, you check in on your, on your customers, your, your database, like you're, you're one out of almost no other business professionals that are checking in on them. So it's so not I, too late. I not also too late ordered, for these love calls. I also ordered cilantro seeds, but they um, I didn't notice before I ordered that it said between June 16th and July 8th. And so um, hmm. they might not arrive till July 8th, but cilantro is something you can kind of seed anytime. And that was two dollars and ten cents for two thousand seeds. Oh my gosh. So yeah. that'll be my second phase. <laughs> Great job, you guys. Great job. Um, one thing uh, that I heard, I've been listening to so many podcasts and coaching things and all this lately. I forget where I heard this. I think it was probably um, bold yesterday. It says, what will I stop doing so that I can do my one thing today? Right. Wow. Most people will do okay. everything they possibly can do so that then they have time for their one thing. And most of the time they never end up having time for their one thing. High performers, they do the exact opposite. They do their one thing and with whatever time is left, they do all the other stuff that's less important, right? Therefore, there's generally always something or multiple things that are getting in the way of doing what we know drives the business more than anything, which is lead generation. So, and for you, it could be exercise, it could be anything. What's the one thing that you need to do today to ensure that you can move the needle forward in your personal life or your professional life, okay? And the, the last question that they asked is, what is my best opportunity to secure a listing today, right? What is the best opportunity I have to secure a listing today? Listings? Are our form of leverage. I heard this the other day that the news media, they use fear as leverage. We use listings as leverage. Okay. So go out there and say to your, yourself and your business and your family, when am I going to get a listing by? I'm going to take a listing by blank date. If you're brand new, take that in consideration. Kathy, maybe you say, I'm going to get a listing by Monday morning, right? Let's go get some listings. All right, guys. I'll see you at 1230. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.